dreams. Consider the power of a dream. Our dreams are the golden ladder by which we climb to heavenly places. Dreams are the mountain peaks of vision that we climb and look over into the promised land that God has given us. Dreams are the lanterns by whose light we pass safely through the darkest valley. Dreams are the inner flame in your soul that gives you the strength in the day of adversity to fight through the darkness until the dream comes true. All great things are born in a dream. Art, books, music, sermons, buildings, skyscrapers, corporate empires. Beethoven used to wander in the woods to get his music. In the theater of his mind, he heard great symphonies of sound that blessed the world. James Watt invented the steam engine, and he cranked it up. He shouted to his friends, you see it today with your natural eye, but years ago I saw it in my mind's eye. Dreams are the stuff that life is made of. Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. Do we dare to dream? What is a dream? Do you dare to dream when others say it's impossible? Do you dare to dream when others live in doubt and despair? Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith, said all things, say that with me, all things are possible to them who believe. Believe that God will do what he said he will do. Our God is able to overcome the limitations that others have placed on you. Whatever forecast they stated for your future, God can cancel it in a second if you'll put your faith in Him. Our God is able to overcome the pain of your past and heal the wounds of yesterday. Our God is able to give you strength for today and fill you with hope for tomorrow. Our God is able to take all things, the good, the bad, the pleasant, the unpleasant, and work them together for your good. But what what you have to do is believe. Believe that the dream that he placed in your heart is a glimpse of your destiny. And then press on. Endure hardness. God will not fail you. God will give you the desires of your heart. You just have to trust in him. And know that he didn't bring you this far to let you down. And if God has you in one hand and your destiny in the other, I assure you, your dream will come true. Don't you give up on your dream. I don't care if you don't have the money, you don't have the help, and you don't have the family for it, and you don't have the background for it, and you don't have the friends for it. Don't you give up on your dream. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. It may take you twice as long. You may have to take courses and classes. You might not read as fast. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much. But don't you quit. Sometimes it's best that you just keep your dreams to yourself. Because your dream is about you. It is God's divine way of giving you a glimpse of your destiny. It was God's way of saying to Joseph, one day I'm going to exalt you and you're going to rule. And all of the nations are going to bow before you. That was Joseph's destiny. That was the dream that God planted in his heart. In order for that dream to become a reality, Joseph had to endure. He endured misery and pain and a season of hell on earth that would be difficult to describe. But all that he went through, he was able to walk through because before it ever began, God gave him a glimpse of what was to come. And he walked down that long road believing that if God be for him, who can be against him? Child of God, I believe that he is no respecter of persons. If God had a dream for Jacob and God had a dream for Joseph, then God has a dream for you. The devil's job, he got one mission, is to make you think you ain't going to make it. The devil wants to keep you from your destiny. That's his one job. Satan got one job to keep you from your destiny. 
The devil don't ever want you to be what God created you to be. If you've been dreaming of opening that business, you should start the process. Don't try to figure out how to make the business make a million dollars. Just start the process. See, if you make one step, he'll make two. But he can't make his two unless you make your one. And don't worry about where you're going with it. Just get started. He'll show you the way to go because he wants you to get to your destiny. But he got to make sure that you want to get to your destiny first. If you tell him you want to get to your destiny, that God you serve, he going to show you how to do it. You can believe that. Don't forget to pray. Don't be ashamed to pray. And don't ever be too proud to pray because prayer, prayer changes things. But it goes without saying that life can push you through seasons where it becomes difficult to dream. Is it right to hope for a better tomorrow? Is it fair to believe that there's a brighter day ahead? This mindset is something that is contrary to what the Word of God tells us we are to believe for and believe in. We may indeed be in a world that is spinning in absolute financial, cultural, and global chaos. But the Bible tells us that we are not in this, we are in this world, we are not of it. We have been told that greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. We are told that even though we may see the hardest of times, we can expect the best of things because it is our God who sits upon the throne. In a world of hardship, he has promised to be the divine provider. He has said, I have a plan for you. It is a plan not to harm you. It is a plan to give you a hope and a future. In a world of need, he has said, I am still the God that shall supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory. In a world of chaos and confusion, he said, I am the Prince of Peace. And my peace, not only do I give it unto thee, but it surpasses all understanding. You may be in a dry season today but our God has said he would be a spring of living water for your thirsting soul. You may be walking through a dark valley but the light of the world has promised that he'll be right beside you and he'll lead you every step of the way to the other side. You may be in a world of trouble but he is a strong tower. He is a shield and he is a defense. In your day of adversity he said I'll be the rock of your salvation. I'll be the glory and the lifter of your head my goodness and my mercy they shall follow you all the days of my life for even David himself declared since the Lord is on my side what can man do to me child of God if you have a dream today don't give up on the dream that God gave you businessman don't quit pursuing the dream that he planted in you mother and father continue to believe for the dream that he has in store for you. Young person, don't abandon the dream that he planted down deep in your soul because God did not bring you this far to fail. He brought you this far to crown you. Dream a new dream and believe in a God who can never fail.